channel and today I've got a really exciting video. I'm going to be trying, testing, reviewing, unboxing a nail set that I bought from eBay. It's got all the stuff you need to do acrylic nails, gel nails, like extensions and it looks pretty cool so I'm very excited to unbox it. Let's get straight on it. So this is the parcel. I haven't yet opened it. Um, it's come all nicely packaged. I've watched a lot of these videos where the kits have come rather destroyed, but mine's come in a really nice box. And um, I am, it's rather like a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be for the stuff that comes in this kit. But I guess we'll have to see when we unbox it. So, first glance, the parcel looks good, and I'm very excited. I've Open it up and now I'm gonna have my first look. So, after opening the box, I took out the first item, which was a acrylic powder, and you got three of these. You also got a four sided nail buff, another nail buff, a dappen dish, and I think this was meant to be glass, but it was plastic, but that's okay. Two nail art wheels, a UV gel primer glitter and I think one of them had spilt slightly cuticle oil tips and I think there was meant to be more of these than there was and I spilt the white one so acrylic liquid so like the monomer a coloured acrylic powder and this wasn't meant to come in the kit so I was happy that I received some of that nail glue um, those like separating things and then like a brush, a pink nail file, a brush to apply the acrylic with and some tweezers and that was everything that came in the first now box. We are moving on to the bigger box which was box number two. Ah, here we go. I can already see there's loads more stuff in here. So I took off the bubble wrap and saw the first thing, which was the UV gel to actually make the extension and a cleanser. Got some buffing cream. Now, these are reusable nail forms. And another wheel. Another separating thing. This was the UV light that came included. We also have another nail buff, another nail file, another wheel. I have no idea what this is, but I don't know. A tip clipper, some microfiber nail white cloth things, which I was unsure about at first, but then I figured out. Some more glitter. Now, these were the tips. We've got clear ones and white ones. Another buff. Two more nail glues a UV top coat, another cuticle oil, a, I have no idea what this is, a cuticle pusher, nail clipper and a pack of brushes. So I'm now going to go over some of the things which I rushed past in the very quick unboxing. So the tips that came in the first box were spare, the acrylic powder and the UV gel all come in three colours, clear, white and pink. We have four of the nail art wheels and we was only meant to receive two of these so that is good extra. We also received double nail buffs, double nail files. We got a lot more glitter than I thought I was going to be getting. I also got some coloured acrylic powder which was really good because I didn't think I was going to get that and that's something I wanted. We got double cuticle oils and three lots of nail glue so we got quite a lot of everything so I should be able to get a good couple sets out of this kit. So here is the picture of the original listing for the kit that I brought. This kit cost me, I think it was £24 or something like that. Um, because this price says £23, but when you select the kit you want it, um, I think this particular kit was £24. But looking at this image, we have received most of the stuff here. So we didn't get a glass tap and tish like this, however we did get a plastic one which has got like two bits and I don't know if this is can be used for the same thing or not but that's what it looks like. We didn't get any nail forms like this and we also didn't get 
a primer like this we got a primer in a different form but i don't know if it's the same but overall i think this kit was really great value for money and a good starter kit and i cannot wait to test it out i should also mention that despite me saying about some of the things we didn't receive in the package we did get lots of things substituted for example the dappin dish we got a different one and the primer we got a different one so we still technically received everything that was included just some of the things were different to the listing but overall the kit was really great so i created a um a workspace and um, i'm gonna get all the stuff now that i think i need to do my nails and i just want to put this like out there because this is the first time i've ever done anything like this so this may go terrible i don't know but that's why i brought this set so i could try it out and give a review for like a first time user so since this has a uv lamp and this is probably one of the standout items in the kit i've decided today i'm going to test the uv gel extensions rather than the acrylic however when i do try the acrylic out at a later point i will make sure to make a video on that as well so here i've laid out all the stuff and i'm going to start by prepping my nails ready for the uh, like extension to go on so i started in by just going and pushing all my cuticles back with this cuticle pusher that came included and then I went and cut off all of the length I had on my nails, which wasn't a lot, but it had to be done. Then I just like filed them and made them nice and smooth and rounded. This part here is all sped up, by the way, just because otherwise you would have been sat here for a long time watching this video. And then I used the cleanser that came, and I'm pretty sure this is like a cleanser dehydrator, that's what I said on the bottle anyway. And I used the wipes that came with to just apply this to all of my nails to make sure there was no excess liquid and I went ahead and buffed all my nails up so it had a bit more of a rough surface to apply the acrylic to. So I just spent about 10-15 minutes prepping my nails and now I'm getting the tips open ready to apply them and today I'm going to be using the clear tips for my nails because I think that will look best with what I have in my mind which We'll see how that turns out. So I'm just opening up the clips and then I'm going to size them all up to my nails to make sure that I've got all the right sizes. And again, this is all sped up because I don't want you to get bored watching this video. So I just thought I would note that I found this glue quite difficult to use, as in like get it out of the tub. So I ended up having to take the top off and using the glue from the inside rather than squirting out the top to apply the tip. And here is my first hand after I finished applying the tips. And then I just went in with this nail cutter and snipped them all down to the right length that I wanted. And after I did that, I went back in with the nail clippers that I used earlier to shape them. And I tried to do something along the lines of a coffin shape, but I did find this nail cutter quite hard to use on the tips, but that's the shape I ended up getting out of the nails. And then I just went in with the nail file and the nail buff to clean it all up and buff them up ready to apply the gel to. So I went ahead and did my other hand the same so I had both hands ready to apply the gel to and this did take me a while to get both hands looking decent but that's probably because this was my first time doing it. So after that I went ahead and opened up the gel that I was using. I decided to go for the pink one and the clear UV primer so I could apply a base layer to my nails and I first off went in and did my thumb first as I thought that I could do the thumb on its own so I didn't smudge it when I was doing the rest of my nails and again all of this is sped up because I don't want you to get bored.
Now I did find that I could only put four fingers a time in the UV light so I often had to do my thumb separately to the rest of my nails to be able to make them all dry fully. So you can see here I'm just building up layers on my nails with the gel and I felt the gel was quite easy to move around like it was a good consistency I think and overall this process didn't take me too long um, as I was, wasn't was really being very careful because I planned on going in and buffing them all and filing them afterwards anyway to get them more smooth so yeah. So after I had done both of the hands with the gel, I then went ahead with my nail buff and buffed and filed to make them all smooth and even. This took a while because the gel was quite hard, but in the end I managed to get them relatively smooth. So here is the first hand after I filed and buffed it and then I just moved on to the second hand and did the exact same. One thing I would like to add is how these didn't come out pink, even though I used the pink gel, it was pretty much clear at all. So if you want pink nails, this gel isn't really for you. So here are the nails after I had filed and buffed them. And to be honest, I don't think the nails came out that bad for a first try. So because I did want pink nails, I went in with this pink nail polish that I had. This wasn't in the set. There was no colours or anything in the set other than the glitter. But I went in with this pink nail polish and just applied a few coats of this. So I actually had pink nails, which is what I wanted when I started this all out. So I went ahead and did the other hand and then this is what they looked like after I did both the hand and because they were quite boring I decided to add a pink glitter to one of the nails but I had to wait for them to dry first obviously. So when they dried I just got the pink glitter and used one of the brushes to apply a coat of it to one nail and then I used the top coat but my camera died here whilst I was finishing them off so here is just a few of the last things I used when my camera turned back on. Um, as you can see I used the buffing cream in the end and this was the finished nail and to be honest for a first try ever doing nails and like I can barely even paint my own. So this is my right hand and these didn't come out as good because I'm right handed so I had to do these with my left hand but overall I was still like pleased with how they came out. So that is it, thank you all guys very much for watching. Overall I'd say this kit was very good value for money and definitely gave me good starting grounds to start practicing to do my own nails. So highly recommend and i'll see you all later so when i was editing i realized that the footage of my finished nails wasn't that great so i thought i would add two photos here which i took after my nails were completely done so you can see how they finished mm -hmm.